Howdy all y'all, Vegemite Survivor Smith is FU viewers and YouTube viewers like this is your Redneck Coast FM. I'm here with my brother Crosswater M48. We're back here in Slasta, but we're playing Palace of Ice, the DLC. Uh, we decided to jump back into this because it's been a while and we figured why not. But I, I'm going to show up on my ramble and let M48 say hello to his Vegemites. Good day, Vegemites. M48 here with FM. Back again for some Celesta. It's been a while. Yes, it has. You gonna tell them what version we're in? I mean, like as far as version, but then like with the what we're playing is the Palace of Ice expansion. Yep. That. Yep. That's exactly what we're doing. And I'm already gearing up. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Put it on your cleric. As far as a lot of this stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Ten charges. That'll work. Uh, let's see. What is this? Once every day. A lot of stuff that we kind of currently get, um, we're going to have to uh, go through and attune yeah. to ourselves. Mm. So, let's see. Where's my guy? There's my team. Alright. Let's see. Now I gotta decide what type of gear she's gonna wear. Uh, let's see, breastplate or uh, I would go for the higher AC, but I'll go for that. This <laughs> is. You notice all of a sudden your character is getting some stuff, right? All right, so who's going to be carrying the uh, uh, craftable stuff? I put myself as a potion crafter, I believe. Uh, which one? <clears throat> a sorcerer. All right. Well, good. He gets and, all the craftables. And I've got a scroll kit. Good, yeah. he gets all craftable items then. All right. Let me look through here. All right. And I think that's good enough. And good enough. All right. So, you all geared up? Almost. Even though I'm like swapping, I don't know. I'm giving it to <laughs> just for probably. I don't know. I'll sort that one out. Well, I mean, you can always put stuff back like into my... the chest if you want. Just a minute. Yeah. My dog's barking at it, barking everybody. So give me just a second, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. Well, we're back. Issue situated. Um. Uh. Pup heard one of the other dogs in the house barking and decided to bark. But pay no attention to the barking sound, but we're all geared up and we're ready to go. So, um, tell you what, how about we go find out what's up with this, uh, you know, deal here. We got to kind of get out here. I'm going to go find out what the deal with this statue is. Okay. If you want to read that description there. Now, uh, my rogue, I'm going to go ahead and split up my guys here. It's going to be there. My ranger, I think she'll be okay being right there. 
So, well, actually, I may have to move my ranger up where you're kind of going with your uh, sorcerer there in GH. So, let me move my. Uh, you want to move your characters back because they probably need in the back lines. I'll put my ranger there, see? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Got a spell. Mark. On that one. And. Oh, that's a whiff. Really? That was a decent hit. Yeah. <laughs> of course, she's the one with six. that one. Yeah, she caught that one a bit. All right, in the turn there. I love those reactions. Yep. <laughs> Cast <laughs> shield. All right, your turn. You want to go after this one or this one over here? I mean, you could probably hit this one too. Of course, we got the guy hidden back over here in the corner. I'll tell you what, the ones with 78 hit points, they're going to be the pain in the butt. Because the Galvanian Smasher, not that much of a problem. Now, if you get that mystical hammer, you can use that is your cantrip to pass. Or not your cantrip, but your uh, secondary action. Ah, thank you. I feel like my archer's going to need that. Cassassia? Yeah. Alright, All right, sorcerer, what you doing now? What you going to do? Who are you going after? Because you're not. I don't think you're able to see this guy. I know you're not able to see that guy. I doubt you can hit that one. So you might be able to hit that one. Oh yeah, I do you have a choice. All right. I mean, I could just go straight out fire. Solasta, Conjo, Viribe. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> fire elemental. Yeah, that's going to cause them some problems. What's funny is, is it moves between both your characters next turn. All right, come on. See so what you're going to do. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Miss. All right, let's see. Who does he have eyes on? He's got eyes on that one. Don't have eyes on that one. Hang on. This will tell me which one he's got eyes on. Okay, he's got eyes on the one that took the pot shot at him initially. Yeah, that's the only one he's got eyes on. So let's see. Uh... Maybe twelve for that, three for that. There's that. Twenty-four. You know what? Arcana, Oli, Minure. <laughs> Distracted. <laughs> okay, this guy's climbing up top, so somebody needs to take him out. Miss. Miss. <laughs> he whiffed big time. Whiff. Oh, that's a hit. Ooh, right in the booty. 
He hit you right in the booty. All right. You know what? Primary attack. You have them now. <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, those individual damage ah. numbers. <laughs> he <Yeah>. resists. <laughs> yeah, he resists any and all. <laughs> oh! Snap! <laughs> Not only is she, uh... Oh, she, she tucked up between the buildings. You see that, right? <laughs> She went no, I'm running. not having any more of that. <laughs> oh, heck no. She's on fire, too. All right. So you want to try to take that one out or that one? I think you have eyes on that one, too. I think you got eyes on three, at least. The one here in front of uh, Cassia, like, literally has 10 HP left. <laughs> so if you got Guiding Bolt or a uh, three-way spell, you know, like multiple shots, you can separate. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can use Guiding Bolt or whatever. Do some pretty good damage on that. Which, which target will probably... Whichever one you want to go for. My Raike, Evo, Malmis. The thing is, he's got the hide. Oh, let there yeah, be the light. hide advantage. Yeah, he does. Thank you. All right. Now it's going to be your fire elemental's turn. <laughs> go up and oh, say hello. Flying. <laughs> <laughs> say hello. Nice surprise ah. attack. Oh, and he's on fire too. <laughs> Ooh, double. Ouch. I don't want to be him when it comes time. All right, now you have eyes on that one from that angle. Maybe at that one, definitely him. This one here has the lowest amount of HP. So don't worry about that one. I'd worry about that one and that one and the bandit archer that's back behind there. Personally, anyways. Is that the one that would heal? Uh, the, the one that heals normally is the smasher in front of me. And I'm about to take her out. Because I could probably... But yeah, go ahead and take out that archer up there. Well, there you go. You about killed her. Yeah. At least prevent the healing. Yeah. See? She's the one that Cannot heals. Heal. Yeah, that's that's yeah. why I was telling you about that. She tries to heal. She's about to get taken out here next turn. Oh, one damage. Boo hoo hoo. It's not like I can't pick that up. Alright, dude. Shot to the booty. Booty, booty, booty. What, what in the butt? <laughs> you know that had to hurt. He's already down to 19. Oh, he heals. Yeah, they each can heal. I forgot about that. Archers can uh, cure wounds. Or heal wounds. Yeah. As a but spell. At least with the smash. Yeah, at least with the smash of being on... Ground it, it'll it quicken the battle a little. Yeah, because she's gonna be the worst one to. Ooh, have to deal with it. Yeah, that didn't do too bad. Hit you twice. All right, my turn. You're out of here. You can't win. And swap over to my bow. 
and I know I got eyes on her. So tell you what, going target her and shoot. Ooh, that's yeah. I was about Not to say, hopefully move. that's a hit. I got to end my turn oh. there. They're going after your sorcerer, man. With. Yeah, I think she's. A... <laughs> it's a bit more. I think she's got cover there. Better than. Built that cover. Yep. Yeah. All right. Do her some damage. Guiding bolt if you can. Or you can do him some more damage. He's just pretty much about dead. A guiding bolt would probably kill him all. My right hand, evil, mal miss. Another miss. Well, that was a uh, bad roll. But your elemental still can hit that one or that one. Yeah. So, yeah, creates an extra attack turn. Ooh, down to 5 HP. Critical. Yep, and he's gone. dead. And he's probably going to move over here next. <laughs> Did I call it or what? Yeah. It's like, guess he's back. <laughs> yeah, it's like, guess what? You still feel for my last hit. <laughs> All right. You still going to go for him? Because he's got the most HP out of all of them. They're out of both of them, really. Uh oh. You gonna try to keep her from healing or something? Solasta Necro Malmis. Uh huh. Oh, you missed. Miss? Yeah, you missed. Shows it up there in the chat box at the top, uh. Solasta right. Conjo. And then I go back to roughly where I was. <laughs> well, there you go. Dimensional door, right? That's what uh, miss misty step, but yeah, I could yeah. also add with that one. I can pull other another ally. Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you fiend! What did you think about that? <laughs> I called it headshot. <laughs> Ooh, hitching the big toe. Clipe. All right, my turn. This is good when that happens. When hell is free big. Oh, and you working once. All right. Beast four. Beast two. Yeah, I'll go with uh, Beast four. Natura Conjo Very bad. Now that. <laughs> Uh, that's the situation you don't want to be in. <laughs> right? <laughs> Group of spiders and you got nowhere to go. Right? <laughs> you trapped. <laughs> I mean, he could try to take the side path, but I doubt that would work too well. Oh, miss. Oh, Lord. And three of them are going to hit him before... He's going to be hit four times. Five. <laughs> All summoned creatures. Oh, just uh, ready something. I want to see how quickly he lasts with the others. Alright, I'm gonna ready a ranged attack. 
Yeah, let the spiders finish. <laughs> Get it for three. Uh. Ooh, he's down to 15. <gasps> 10. All right, now if he goes oh. to move. Yeah, poisonous. Poison damage. 17 ain't gonna save you. <laughs> and that, yeah, and that only healed. I don't think you yeah, chewed the poison. <laughs> nope. And he's gonna get hit one more time before. Uh... Opportunity. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's got four opp attacks of opportunity. <laughs> he was he was stuck. There was no getting out of that. So close to the inarium. They're in uniform. They're not bandits. Mercenaries from Galivan. So deep into the principality's territory. Don't be fooled. They didn't come to invade. They came for us. Let's move. We need to speak to Marshal Sunblaze. Alright everybody, well I'm going to pause here for another moment, so I'll be right back. Alright everybody, well we're going to go around and start collecting these bags. <laughs> My guys are going to collect some, if you want to collect some to m 4 gh that's up to you. Alright, uh, let's see, got one there. If you want to collect some, you got two, then we can check out that little flag thing before uh, we leave out of here. I'll let you grab two and I'll get to... Uh, I've already got my two. I'll let you get the other two. To... Make sure there's no other goodies that we're missing here. Besides the chest back where we were, the statue... You know, little hidden things, little hidden gems that uh, dungeon creators hide here and there. Alright, now there's one there for you. Just loot all, man. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah. And team up, and I'm going over here. Yeah, that last guy, he was bent over a barrel and done wrong. <laughs> he was done so wrong. Oh, I don't think I would have wanted to bend in that guy's shoes, would you? M4TH? Yeah. Would you have wanted to been in that guy's shoes? <laughs> no, like as I said, it's like that's one situation. I uh, don't want to be in, even as far as like, you know, it's like being ambushed. Yeah, he was more than ambushed. <laughs> he was way more than ambushed. There's a barrel over here that you can get. All right, I'm gonna go open up these doors and then we'll go from there. I'm just gonna open the doors. I'm not gonna go in. Did you loot that already? All right. Yep. Now there's plants in here. There's one there, one there, and one there. I'm gonna go after this one and you go after one. I think that's it besides the statue over here. You gonna go after that one? Yeah. Then I'll get this one here, all yeah, right? Yeah, that, that was that was going for it. But the ones I yeah. I'll toss all crafting items off to you after we get through this section. Alright, there's that. And the only doors that are available are these doors here. So I'm going to go open them up. All right, you ready? Yep. 
I mean, it might teleport you over here. It might not. I think it only happens after we open up the doors and get in here. All right. We got to open up them doors now. And then we got to step in to talk to that guy there. So, ready? Yep. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. My friend, oh, it is so good to see you again. Likewise, Marshal. We came as fast as we could. Great, thanks. You must have many questions. But something came up that I have to take care of right away. You've been traveling all day. You should take a rest. We'll talk tomorrow morning. Fine. Where can we set up camp? Ah, you're pulling my leg, aren't you? We have a room set aside for you. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, Marshal. All right. Now, I believe we either go through this door or... Yeah, we've just been to go through this door. I think it's either side. Hey, bookcase. All right, uh, the Snow Alliance and Crown of the Magister. I'll go ahead and move that and open up these doors. And as soon as we step in, we go to rest. Which means we regain our spells and stuff. Alright, we can attune the items we have. I can only do one at a time. Recycler, attune item. Alright, waiting on you. I think as far as the spells, it checks out. Alrighty. Yeah. Bajorn is a shadow caster for the rogue. So, you know, he's he's got certain spells. Cassia, she is a 100% archer. I mean, she is there. I'm st I still can't get over that last guy. <laughs> I don't think that could have been set up any better. Do you? No. Uh, yeah, they're all placed perfectly to where there was no, no room at all. No escaping the hit. Spiders. Yeah, and then <laughs> my elemental comes along and that closes off any sort of try attempts to exit move yeah. off a bit, even though it'll move them closer. Yeah, <laughs> and if your elemental had missed, my spider was there to kind of like, oh hey, guess what? You moved in my area. You're done. <laughs> and you go like, if imagine if it, all, like you've had the thing to just heal, heal, and heal, but there's no good, no curing the poison, right? Especially when it's if, being stacked if, four times. <laughs> all right, so you about done? Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. And now we can go talk to Marshall Sunblaze, or you can get that bookcase or that bookcase, whichever one you want. Okay, you're going to go for that one. I'll go for this one on the other side. And then we'll go talk to Marshall Sunblaze. And we may wind up uh, ending the episode here after we open up these doors, get into the middle of the room, because that's literally going to put us at that 30 minute mark. For the most part. <clears throat> we might go a little long. For this part.
Here you are. Marshal, it's a pleasure to see you again. Same, Wise, my friends. I called upon you not as a member of the Legacy Council, but as a keeper of the light in front of darkness. All right, so which one do you want to attempt here? You want to do... Is the crown going to remain here? Has the situation in Galvan or Sorex triggered the war question? You want to do this one? Yeah. You'll keep the crown of the Magister on display here? Exactly. Even if it's just an old relic now. It serves our task as guardians of the memory of Celasta. All right. This one or this one? This one? Is it confirmed that Sorax control the Kingdom of Galavan? There is not much space for doubt anymore, though we do not know how they do it exactly. Corruption, coercion, or plain replacement. How are things going with the Kingdom of Galavan? It is not an all-out war yet, just skirmishes on the border. I hear they are also attacking the lands of the Snow Alliance. Actually, some of their mercenaries attacked us on our way here. Really? That's another sign of their ties to the Sorax. Your targets now. Don't worry about us. After all we did to close the rift? To think they're still around. That's really depressing. You did prevent a massive invasion. Without you, we wouldn't be here anymore. Which is why I asked for your help. You must remember when the Antiquarians left the Legacy Council as the war started. Yet the Church of Anar has ties with the Snow Alliance. One of our renowned clerics, Vigdis Kaikonen, belongs to one of their oldest clans. While she was here in the Anarium, her father was found dead. Okay, so this one, this one, or this one. How do you tie this death to the Sorax? Lord Kaikonen was kidnapped, kept in a hidden house, and notes had been taken on his behavior, his way of speaking, his taste in food. So they could learn to mimic him. It looks like it. One of his captains found him. He killed a couple of Sorax, but sadly, the Lord could not be resurrected. All right. Now, that leaves... This one or this one? What can you tell us about Vigdis? Well, she is an experienced battle cleric from the Order of the Shield. She took part in multiple expeditions to the Badlands. She is wise, strong, a paragon of our creed. All right, so what's up with a snow alliance here? Do you think the Sorax aim to take over the snow alliance like they did Galavan? It is their way. Therefore, yes, I am afraid so. The difference is that now we know they are here and how they operate. We have to go and investigate. We can't have the Principality surrounded by Sorak puppets. Lady Vigdis and her escort leave for home tonight. I would feel more comfortable if you could be with her. They could be after her, too. And possibly the other clan chiefs. The politics of the Snow Alliance are complicated. You will have to swim with sharks. I think we can deal with that. We survived the Legacy Council, after all. I am sure of that. You are heroes of Masgarth. Your reputation precedes you, and your mission is sacred. Let no one keep you from your duty. You can count on us, Marshal. I shall keep you informed of the political situation. Letters from the Inarium always find their destination. I would ask you to keep me updated of your progress in return, if you please. Of course. Thank you. Stay in the light. Okay. He said that in part of it, during the Galavad thing, that he does not know how they are operating. Coercion, corruption, or just all out of replacement and yet in the part about the snow alliance it says now that we know how they operate mm. that makes no sense does it 
But anyways, everybody, we're over that 30-minute mark, and thank y'all for coming out, visiting for a spell, sitting in the rockers, throwing some lines in the water like the Bobber's Bob, and drinking some shine woods. Hope y'all come back for another spell, so y'all come back now, you hear? Later!